I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. This is Shell Point Today for Tuesday, April 10th. On today's show, we'll get advanced directives from Jeff and Hannah. We'll get a look inside the Mater's home. Gary Keating will offer today's golf tip. And we'll see how the church food drive is going. Did you know that on this day in history, April 10th, 1912, the RMS Titanic set sail from Southampton, England on her maiden voyage. Titanic was the largest ship afloat at the time it entered service. The ocean liner carried some of the wealthiest people in the world, as well as hundreds of poor immigrants from Great Britain and Ireland. In the early hours of the 15th, after colliding with an iceberg, it sank taking with it more than 1,500 people. The wreck of Titanic was discovered in 1985, more than 70 years after the disaster, and it remains on the seabed. Fun fact about me, Dan, my great-grandmother from Ukraine actually had a ticket to go on the Titanic. Really? But she fell ill right before, and they wouldn't let her board the ship. Well, good thing for you, huh? I know. You, this chair would be empty. I know. It's pretty crazy when well, you think is. about it. Wow. Yeah. Well, mark your calendar for this Saturday. The 2017 American biographical movie Marshall will be showing in the Grand Cypress Room at 2 p.m. The film follows the life of young Thurgood Marshall, played by Chadwick Boseman. He was the first African-American Supreme Court justice. The drama highlights the many challenges Thurgood faced during his career, including the high-profile case State of Connecticut versus Joseph Spell. In the movie, Thurgood travels to conservative Connecticut after wealthy socialite Eleanor Strubing accuses black chauffeur Joseph Spell of heinous crimes. Thurgood teams up with Sam Friedman, a local Jewish lawyer who has never handled a criminal case. Together, the two men build a defense while contending with racist and anti-Semitic views. If you have not seen this film, then consider spending your afternoon enjoying this amazing story with an even more incredible cast. Tomorrow, in the Grand Cyphus Room at 10 a.m., there will be an Alzheimer's seminar with special guest Angel Duncan, who serves as the Director of Education for a local neuropsychiatric research center. Angel will discuss various scientific research studies from across the globe, offer an overview about Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, and provide a wealth of information for optimal brain health. Come learn how to sustain your brain health. Again, that's tomorrow in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands at 10 a.m. The Miracle Tampa game is this Friday the 13th. Sign up today for a spot on the bus to see the Fort Myers Miracle Baseball team take on the team from Tampa, the Tarpons, which promises to be an action-packed event held at CenturyLink Stadium. You'll be seated in Suite 4 in the Skybox, where it will be easy to relax, eat some great food, and enjoy the game. Stairs and arena navigation are required for this event, and please dress for the weather of the day. Pickups will start on the island at 5.15, and you can expect to return home around 9.30. Emily, did you know that Tuesday, the 17th, Frank Sinatra is coming to Shell Point? I did know that. He is one of my favorite performers, so oh I will goodness. be there. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought you were a fan. He's great. Well, it's not actually the real Frank Sinatra, of course, but Kerry Hoffman translates his celebrated PBS special into a biographical, often hilarious, poignant one-man musical play. Hang on tight for this high-energy performance that centers around Carrie's love and idolization for his hero, Frank Sinatra, and the perils of wanting to become somebody else. Listen as Carrie weaves in over 20 classic Sinatra songs, creating a musical score about his lifelong obsession. The New York Times applauds Carrie's dead-on authentic rendition of Sinatra. You won't want to miss this final Performing Arts Series concert. It will be at the Village Church next Tuesday, the 17th, at 7.30 p.m. I can't wait. And speaking of the classics, the ballroom dancing class is today in the Island Fitness Center. Resident Nancy D'Amico will bring her skills to the dance floor as she teaches you the basics of social ballroom skills, three different steps, and two different ballroom dances. And if you're new to ballroom dancing, don't fear because there are sessions tailored to certain skill levels. If you have any questions or you'd like to see the complete schedule of dance classes available, contact wellness manager Michelle Tompkins or visit one of the concierge desks and check out the wellness brochure or you can go online. Do you like to solve puzzles? If so, then you might enjoy a mysterious event happening on Wednesday, April 25th. Midnight at the Masquerade, a mystery dinner that will keep you intrigued all night long. 
Attend the Billionaires Club annual masquerade ball and help get this soiree back on track by trading clues with your guests, gathering information, and solving the crime before the masked menace gets away. Evening wear, ball gowns, Venetian masks, suits, and tuxes are what to wear to this high-class night of masks and murder. Get ready for a glamorous evening of mystery, intrigue, and mayhem. It's at 5 p.m. in the club, $42 per person. That sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It does. Well, Jeff Corey and Maria Festa are over at the table, and they have some advanced directives that they'd like to tell you about. Jeff, 